Let's go back quite a few years to when Ned was 15. He ate like shit, he played video games, jerked off multiple times a day, watched so many hours of brain dead entertainment and informational content, and did that consistently every single day. And I honestly did whatever I felt like, and most people would call that a good way to live. But it was honestly one of the most depressing times of my life, and everything fun and enjoyable that I did was only a form of cope. And I'm sure you can actually relate to that, nearly exactly. And back then I knew I shouldn't be eating junk food, let alone binging it, but all of my favourite YouTubers and influencers would sometimes have some snacks or some junk food, and I thought it was okay to do the same. When I was 15, I actually knew no downsides of jerking off, and seen memes on Instagram about how ejaculating five times a week reduces the risk of prostate cancer, and then the caption underneath saying, oh I'm going to be immortal now. I knew I shouldn't be playing video games, but I found out that video games increase reaction time, so I thought it was okay to play them. I knew I shouldn't be watching so much YouTube, but all of the videos that I was watching were informational so it was okay to watch them. And the YouTube thing is honestly what I told my mum every time she would be on my back for not doing homework. Basically when I was younger, the overwhelming majority of information and facts that I seen just by chance without looking anything up, pushed me in the direction of continuing to do the bad habits that I have been doing for so long. The modern world heavily promotes degeneracy. And it either takes you to get frustrated and angry and look for a way to get out of the degeneracy rabbit hole that you have been in, or you have been fortunate enough to stumble upon this video without being frustrated yet. And if that is the case, consider yourself lucky, because I help men like you get out of the degeneracy rabbit hole, away from depression and suicidal nihilism like I experienced back then, and instead bring you closer to living as the best version of yourself, living your dream life, achieve everything that you have ever wanted in life, and live every single day with meaning. I got the idea for this video when I made my The Real Dangers of Video Games video. I was looking for thumbnail inspiration and I stumbled upon a video that was called Doctor Says Gaming Is Healthy. And before I even watched it, I knew it was going to be bullshit. But then I watched it, and I was right. And this doctor talks about these proven benefits of video games and even cites some studies. And so it makes his narrative very clear when he makes such a video and even titles it in such a way. And all of that just makes people believe his narrative so much more. And because he put doctor in the title, that opens up the door for the people who watch this video to say that, oh, I play video games because a doctor said that it's not actually that bad. Since doctors are authority figures in health, and so if someone who is proficient and very competent in health said that something is okay, then it must be okay. And that is so bad because if someone is constantly procrastinating because they're playing video games, it's going to be hard for them to not play them because they have so much information and bias in favour of playing video games instead of doing what they know they need to do. And in his defence, he does say that video games are only good in reasonable doses and it is bad to overdo it. Honestly, that's fair enough. Well, not actually, because he only said that so that people can't get on his back for saying that video games are healthy. Because the men who watch those kind of videos will either ignore the part that says that it's only good in moderation or think that an absurd amount of video games is a reasonable amount. It basically gives the men who are addicted to video games another reason to stay addicted to video games. My problem is that people like the guy who made that video only make those type of videos for the views and money that they get. Because it's what people want to hear, so people will click on it and, get, and be all positive and happy about what he has to say. And he would never give the harsh truth of, of the world and the things in it because that's less likely to get views and less likely to make people happy and not upset. And so people like that get their views and money, but then it means millions and millions of men fall deeper into this degeneracy rabbit hole. Because it honestly is very difficult to get out of the addicting and fun pull of video games. And because it is so difficult to quit, the men will just cope and they will dress up their video game addiction as not an addiction, but no, I need to keep playing video games because they give me fast reaction times and they help me have better depth perception, so I don't, I, I shouldn't quit because it really is beneficial for me. And so in their mind, there actually is no reason to quit because it is beneficial for them. So basically, the modern world is continuing to push the benefits of partaking in a damaging and addictive habit like video games. And they say it is beneficial, but just don't overdo it, which makes zero sense and the only reason they can get away with it is because video games aren't physically damaging. 
Because it's the exact same principle as if you were to say, oh, cigarettes are actually very beneficial. The nicotine in the cigarette helps you stay alert and help you stay focused. And you can even and it can even help you socialize because you can go smoke with other people, offer them a cigarette, ask for a lighter, let them borrow a lighter, and it's all good fun. And it's actually very good, but just don't overdo it. And do you honestly think that someone who is addicted to anything is going to have it in moderation? No. And another example is how the modern world pushes porn and jerking off onto men. I certainly heard this and you probably have too, that when it comes to porn, it's good to watch it because you can experiment with what you like and you can find yourself sexually basically. And you can even reduce your risk of prostate cancer if you ejaculate more than five times a week. I heard all of this stuff when I was seriously addicted to jerking off and all it did was strengthen my belief that jerking off is okay. I honestly never heard a single downside of jerking off until the last two years. I was telling myself that I was reducing my risk of prostate cancer and so take care of my prostate. But that's nonsense because I found out what prostate actually is just last week. What I was doing was coping, plain and simple. So young men like when I was 15 kept seeing all of these benefits of the bad habits they were so addicted to and honestly being manipulated by not seeing the positives and the negatives of these bad habits which made us completely oblivious to the negatives which outweigh the positives by like 10 times. Which makes us stay in the degeneracy rabbit hole with no reason to leave at all because of all of these benefits we continue to see. Because a young man could be watching this very video and say to himself, no video games and porn can't actually be that bad. And so he looks up benefits of porn or video games and then sees so much information and so many articles in favour of porn and video games and he either doesn't read the negative articles or the information that would go against his viewpoint or he does read some opposing viewpoints but just skims over it and says oh it actually can't be that bad so I'll just continue doing the bad habit and if it couldn't get any worse cognitive dissonance makes all of this so much worse because you can't have the viewpoint of video games are fun and I enjoy doing them and also that video games are harmful and I shouldn't be doing them I, you can't have those same viewpoints in the same mind. And so of course it must mean that one of those viewpoints are wrong and because you enjoy video games more, you're going to be more in favor of it and you're going to block out any potential negatives or minimize the negatives. Because if you truly, truly believe that video games are bad, you wouldn't want to play them anymore and you do want to play them because you enjoy them so much. So your brain copes by living in a fantasy land, blocking out any opposing viewpoints, bringing up the benefits that the modern world shows you and minimizing the actual negatives of it all. And so it makes you think things like, oh, it's okay if I jerk off for the fifth time today, I'm only helping my prostate. And it actually really benefits me because it helps me feel uh, relieve stress. There's no way it's actually that bad and it depletes all my energy and makes me unable to hold eye contact with girls. Or it's okay that I play video games for the eighth hour straight and a doctor on YouTube told me that it's okay in moderation and I used to play 12 hours a day and now I only play eight hours. There's no way it actually damages my brain, makes me feel useless and depressed and makes my social anxiety worse. So it basically means that you started doing these bad habits very innocently. And, but then you get into the routine of doing them very consistently. And then on top of that, you hear all of these benefits that the modern world keeps telling you. Which means that you start believing that they are truly good for you and won't even open yourself up for the chance that they may actually be bad. Which makes the entire world and your own brain through cognitive dissonance work against you. Because the truth is that you should stop doing the bad habits. And I will tell you the cold hard facts. When you watch porn, you're not experimenting with yourself and relieving stress and helping your prostate. You are watching another man have sex with the woman that you want to have sex with while you wish that you were doing what the man is doing. So it just means that you're being cocked while you jerk off. You wish you could do what the man is doing, but it is too difficult so you do it through a virtual screen. Take the screen away and you're just being cocked, but you still choose to sit down and get cocked five times a day. But if you choose not to get cocked and only watch something with women in it, for example, it still means that you're worshipping the woman or women to the highest degree. Because you would feel fantastic if you found out that there are women looking you up on the internet, trying to see you naked so that they can masturbate to you. And you don't have to do anything. You just do your thing and you're getting worshipped. But you do that to random women and keep putting them on pedestals. Because if you take the screen away, the woman who is being sexy for you or doing or whatever, She's just doing her thing and you're sitting in your chair or on your bed with your dick in your hand like a little monkey. 
the fact is that no matter how you pleasure yourself sexually, whatever you watch, you are subconsciously putting that above you. Because if you weren't below them, you would go out, date and have sex with beautiful women yourself. And you wouldn't have to get cocked or come to the mere sight of a woman. It is the same principle as if you had a Lamborghini, for example. If you had a really fancy supercar like a Lamborghini, you're not going to look up Lamborghinis, Lamborghini videos on YouTube or see photos of Lamborghinis or have Lamborghini lock screens or wallpapers. You wouldn't have to do all of that and live in a fantasy land because you have the real thing and, it's, and it is so much better than the fantasy thing. When you play video games, you are experiencing fake purpose and it is the exact same principle as porn because you wish that you were in the place of the character that you're controlling because they are achieving things, overcoming challenges and accomplishing goals. You of course want to do all of those things but they are just so difficult and so you do it through a virtual screen. What you're doing is putting in time, effort and attention into something that does not improve your life. You're playing strategic, competition based and effortful games in order to feel prestige and accomplishment when doing so. You want to do good in those games, beat opponents or just do something cool so you feel that accomplishment. No matter what video games you play, you play with the end goal of completing something in order to feel accomplished. And so what you need to do instead is find something that resonates with you, something that is effortful and something that you can pursue with the end goal of feeling accomplishment and purpose. And there's even more ways that the modern media portrays degeneracy and another way is through alcohol. The modern world portrays everyone who has alcohol is having a lots of fun. And of course that's what the advertisers of the alcohol are trying to do. And so that just makes you more so want to go out to a nightclub, have alcohol and have so much fun. Another thing is unhealthy snacks and drinks. Because the modern world portrays everyone who drinks coke or has a, a big bag of sweets and shares them with others as being social and friendly and fun. Which makes you want to go have that sweet or have that drink share it with others and have fun in the moment. And it even pushes the narrative that being lazy and stupid is okay and it's funny. This sounds absurd, but you see this with the big social media comedians that post memes that just aim to be relatable. And they post videos of themselves not wanting to do something effortful and just wanting to be lazy and doing something the smart way instead of getting up and just doing it. Making light of being unprepared and stupid and then saying things like, oh my god, I can't believe I left that last minute. Oh, I can't believe myself. So what could the antidote be to all of these massive, massive downsides? Discipline. Because discipline equals freedom. You gain the freedom of being able to do whatever you choose to. Instead of being a slave to your emotions and your what you want in the moment and basing your decisions off them. Because the man who is disciplined gets up at 7am every single day and has a cold shower can also eat some chocolate if he chooses to. But the man who has no discipline could not wake up at 7am and have a cold shower even if he's really really wanted to. And only eats chocolate because he desperately desperately craves it and not because he made a conscious decision to eat it. Build your discipline by doing difficult things that improve your life. Almost everything that gives you instant pleasure is going to be bad for you, and nearly everything that is effortful at first and gives you benefits that are quite far away and not immediate are going to be extremely beneficial and are going to be the things that improve your life the very most. And with every difficult thing that you overcome, like working out for the first time, getting up early, having a cold shower, eating well throughout the whole day, you absorb the power of that difficult thing and you become stronger. And all of that is crucially important for you to follow through on because you know the extent of how much these bad habits can truly damage a man's life. A man who does all of the bad habits will not want to go out pursue women who are beautiful, date them, marry them and have children with so that he can pass on his genetics and have his future children be fantastic people who can make the world an even better place. He will not feel the need to do difficult things that even improve his life and make his life easier or just better because he does all of the difficult things in video games and he feels that sense of achievement and that's enough for him. So he, so he gets that sense of achievement and gets addicted to it. So he wants to play more and then video games become an escape for him because his life is completely useless. He hasn't achieved anything, but in this game, he is amazing. So he will keep going back to it while not making anything useful or good in his actual life. He will have an awful diet, 
that doesn't allow him to do a lot of things because he is so sluggish all the time from constantly eating shit. And now that you have understood the extent of all of these bad habits, you can build yourself up to the point where you can improve your life so, so much that you become unrecognisable from who you were two years ago. And also help your closest people by not allowing them to suffer more than they need to, by helping them understand the true detriment of the bad habits that have been so normalised nowadays. The world needs your gifts. Every man has the ability to make a little dent in the universe and make the world a better place. And through him doing that, he achieves his dream life, he takes care of everybody that he loves, does not live a depressed life and instead lives an incredibly meaningful and fulfilling life, makes a lot of money and attracts all of the beautiful women that he wants. Every single man has that inside him, but not every single man is able to harness that and put that into action. But you are able to harness that, because you now have the foundation of what it takes to become the best version of yourself. Get everything that you have ever wanted in life, help everybody that you love and make the world a better place. And trust me when I say that people need your help, not only other people, you need to help yourself. The world and especially yourself will suffer way more than they need to because you keep doing the bad habits while neglecting the good ones. Put in enough time and attention because that will make anything into reality.